Hi, today our discussions are inclined about various transport modes. I believe many have some knowledge already like road, maritime, air, rail, intermodal and via pipelines. In table 1 here, I discuss about some of the sub-modes that is associated with those primary modes. There is a video to describe things further. So let's discuss about advantages and disadvantages of each mode one by one. Let's take the road. The first and the most common mode of transportation in logistics is the roads as a mode from walking to horses to wagons to bikes to cars to trucks. Road transportation has been around longer than mode and is utilized the most of any mode in logistics. Coming to advantages, the shipper only pays for the portion of the truck occupied by their freight. Road as a mode make end-to-end -end connectivity easier and faster. Connectivity to the warehouse of the customer. There are many disadvantages also. The first drawback is that a shipper must ship a lot of freight in order to make the shipment economical. Multiple trips requires to be completed for the full shipment. Like for example, a truck can carry 53 pallets, but for an order of 200 pallets, I have to make almost 4 trips. Traffic and road congestion, damages to the road infrastructure also, if there is an accident. To the second mode of transport, that is the maritime, it is the oldest mode, 90% of all global trades. There are several advantages, like a single ship can carry a big volume of shipment. There are many disadvantages to this. The first of all is the high carbon dioxide emission. The speed is low. There is a lot of paperwork and regulations involved. The third mode is air transportation. Recently, it has been gaining more popularity. There are several advantages attached to it. It is fast. It is trustworthy and dependable. Many companies in recent times are opting for these modes like Amazon, Walmart, etc. However, there are several disadvantages. It is expensive and also could carry less volume in comparison to rail or a ship. There is also a possibility of safety threat. Coming to the fourth mode, rail transport. It started gaining popularity from 19th century. First, there is limited infrastructure. The infrastructure construction is very expensive as it involves a high capital expenditure. The next mode is the intermodal. It is not one of the primary one shipment is completed using multiple modes. Well, there are many advantages associated with multimodal transportation. The shipper gets alternatives to transport. The disadvantages is uncertainty in availability of alternative mode. The next mode is the pipeline. It is also not one of the primary mode, but it is highly recognized for transportation of fossil fuel, that is gas and oil. The disadvantages, theft and damage of the pipelines, which leads to a lot of capital expenditure and also the initial construction work is highly expensive that is critically analyze the underlying operations and cost of different modes of transportation transport is a fundamental sector of the economy in European Union the employment due to transport services are more than 11 million further as per estimate by economists it's a trillion dollar industry when I say the transport, it means that I am referring to the European region. So all the examples or all the figures are associated with the European region for now. Each network for a mode like rail, air, road, etc. could be said performing well if it is facilitated with better coverage and infrastructure that is not only limited by within the border con connectivity but also inter-border connectivity because in this globalized world a lot of shipments are going out of the country to another country and there is a lot of demand for that unavailability of unified well-functioning transport area leads to less connectivity reduced multimodal and safe transport infrastructure networks further there is a less opportunity for low emission mobility also to come over of this kind of issues there are many initiatives many research ongoing which are aiming towards digital mobility solutions efficient pricing in transport cost is the biggest element for choosing a certain mode as per by certain research promotion of multimodality framework for alternative energy as fossil fuels are becoming more scarce we have to reduce or each country has to reduce its carbon dioxide emissions by half interoperability and standardization of electromobility as there is huge investment coming up for electric cars, electric ships, electric aeroplanes also. Improvements in vehicle testing, post-2020 research and investment strategy for all means of transport. For road, 
railway and inland waterway transport the total infrastructure costs were estimated in european 28 regions was amount to 267 billion dollars for the year 2016 further drop down or details of the investment happened are summarized in the table below please check the official european union document titled overview of transport infrastructure expenditure and costs for more insights further to the discussion discussing factors affecting the selection of specified modes of transport in an organization well there are several factors but uh, i have chosen few based on my experience and based on what is happening in current industries right now the most checked factor is the cost per kilometer the selection of the mode of transportation and the choice of the carrier to transport the company's product are key decisions in logistics management this is directly linked with the revenues and profit that a company earns so that's why there is a high attention given to the cost factor sometimes it happens that that during the time of shipping the customer is willing to pay higher transportation costs for higher quality transport service but yeah those cases are very rare however most of the times the customer always go for selecting the low cost carriers with quality for transporting its products the second point is comfort and ease this is related to quality of network like roads are of high quality or not whether the shipping route has a very stable current of the water the third factor is possibility to attain travel time reliability with less delays next possibility of cargo loading space to handle during peak season established procedure for proper customs clearance like paperwork related to brexit brexit related process could be very hard and could be very cumbersome ease in cargo tracking possibility many a times the customer wants to or wish to know the status of the ship so that's why there is in there should be this kind of features available for a customer to select or to go for a particular mode the transport speed how fast the shipper is able to move its products and how soon the products are going to reach the destination availability of a certain mode during multimodal transport transport by road and ferry and the penalty for a 30 minutes delay by road shouldn't result in high waiting time for ferries so if the frequency of the ferries are low then it has a negative utility on the decision making expected connectivity to the destination should be high facility to load and unload the cargo like there should be a ramp facilities available for loading and unloading of the pallet associated cargo tax and penalties it should be less and this should be of lower margin last but not the least security along the lane the shipper should be secured from theft or any other security related problems or damages coming to the next section Uh, regarding the infrastructure facilities associated with each of the transport mode towards transport infrastructure i think many of the people here are already aware of some examples of installations like canals waterways airways railways roads as well as pipelines also for the maritime there are sea ports refueling depot for the road there are trucking terminals warehouse bus stations railway stations airports there is migration towards more intelligent infrastructures involving automation like intelligent traffic systems which works with mass data and takes complex decisions based upon various algorithms already there are many research ongoing in japan in china they have a fleet of intelligent vehicles automatically picking up customers from the roads like the uber people are trying to through research make possible vehicle are able to communicate with traffic infrastructures and take decisions of their own directions are automatically calculated and hazards are easily anticipated different sensors are installed in the traffic as an inf- as a part of infrastructure to increase the safety truck platooning in the future could be made easy through the sensors that is implemented on the every 1 km along the roads new developments in the field of ai and robots are ongoing to handle shipping like autonomous fire fighting robots at ports and inside the ships robots are also installed in warehouse for lifting heavy boxes new softwares which is also part of the infrastructure that are being used like blockchain technology for the transactions there is live tracking with advanced gps 